Hello guys and welcome. So today we're going to be having a look at this here uh, portable Bluetooth speaker from M Stuff. I bought this speaker at my local Musica here in South Africa. So this particular model is the MST3305BK. It is a basic cheap made in China speaker that they basically just slap their name onto so yeah let's have a look at it and see if it's any good the speaker this particular speaker is pretty good for its size I mean pretty cheap for its size so I was intrigued by it so I purchased it so let's see the so first thing right off the back they use some of this good quality packing foam at least they sure did skimp on it not a lot of it in here though so yeah and then the speaker itself has a nice strap on the top to carry it with and it just comes in a plastic bag and in the bottom is also some of this foam that's basically all that you get for packaging and let's see accessory wise we get a little baggie here with what looks to be um, just a normal type A to micro B USB cable, short little thing. Um, I'm assuming this is just for charging because uh, it can't really be for anything else on the speaker. So yeah, pretty short little thing. And it also comes with a little 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. Also very short and thin and doesn't feel like high quality at all, but at this particular price range, you can't be expecting that. The speaker cost me uh, like around 350 bucks at my local Musica. Um, that's Rand's. In dollars that would be around like about twenty five dollars and yeah so let's have a look at the speaker itself so here we've got it we got a nice handle at the top it feels pretty good quality I mean I wouldn't say that yeah and I think you can even remove it Yes, it's got clips on the side, so these clips, so you can easily just remove it if you don't want it there. This particular speaker doesn't come, or it doesn't seem to come with um, like an arm strap that you can carry it with, like some of the other ones like this. So let's see what do we have here. Now this the speaker is made to connect with Bluetooth, I think it's 2.1 or something. And then it also comes with a 3.5mm auxiliary for the little cable. A TF card, so that will be a micro SD, a USB type A, and then just yeah, USB micro B, which is an older standard but still common on these kinds of speakers. Would like to see type C sometime soon. And then right here, I like the fact that this speaker has this. This right here is a six and six point three five millimeter uh, microphone jack. So that's for those big microphone plugs. It's nice to see that on a cheap speaker like this. For like I guess for if you want to sing like karaoke or stuff like that. Then we have the buttons, the mode button, volume up and skip track skip play and pause and volume down and back track back okay that's all on that side really and on this side we basically just have the woofer and yeah that's all you can really see with it like this so let's power it up and see what it what it's like when we turn it on. Okay, well, 
makes a loud dome. Yes, and there you can see it. Now this is kind of nice, it has some lights in here, RGB, everything has to have RGB these days, so yeah, that's nice. I believe they might flash with the music, as music is playing as well. So yeah, that would be nice if that's the case, but we'll have to see. And then on this side it's just saying Bluetooth, because on default it's safe to connect with Bluetooth. Okay, so... I think we should connect it up and check what it sounds like. Okay, so now I've got a phone here with the auxiliary cable that I got with this thing. This is really not a good quality auxiliary. And when I plug it in, I don't know if you can hear that over the mic, but it's making a strange noise when ever I plug the auxiliary in. I don't know if it's this cable or the speaker what but yeah that's quite annoying because I know it's not the phone this phone's headphone jack is working fine I tested it as well so yeah but then whenever there comes some sound through it it stops doing that so yeah I don't know what that is okay let's find the soundtrack now start playing the volume so good, it sounds good, but it's not that loud yet. Oh, you make me wanna talk back, talk back to you. Say you say you like that. If I hate you, then find someone new. Okay. Maybe, but you know. basically that maximum volume there's a little bit of distortion there and it's not that loud but it is pretty good actually still considering the price but it's just this little cable seems to not be very nice so yeah definitely not a good quality don't use that I don't really know if there's much else to say about it. Oh, and it does have an FM radio in it as well if you're into listening to radio. So yeah, you can even do that. And the light looks nice in the dark. Can't really show you that now. But now let's get into it and see what makes this thing tick. So, to open this thing up basically gonna remove the strap I believe then we can start from this one side it has like a couple of screws I think three screws it seems that we have to remove normal Phillips head Drop. quite a rough screws these like self tapping screws just nothing fancy I mean this price range they really have to save money everywhere they can even the housing does seem to be made out of some sort of a cardboard or something I believe maybe it's plastic but I think it's a cardboard kind of substance uh, yeah it kind of looks like a cardboard kind of like substance and yes there we have the inside okay now it has two wires inside that you have to plug out I see before I break them back and there we go oh so yes there we have the back of the woofer now this is a 5 inch woofer I believe they said 10 watt they didn't lie it is a 10 watt it does say it's a 10 watt at least on it and then yeah we have the wire just for the sound and the wire for the little LEDs in the middle little RGB yeah so that's all that's on that side now let's take off the other side so I can show you guys clearly what's there. Okay, there we go. Before we look at that, this thing is basically just a big piece of thick cardboard, like a, a um, big toilet paper roll or something. 
So, but then the, here we have uh, basically everything that makes this thing magic. A big ass antenna here. Wonder if that is for Bluetooth. I believe that might be for the radio, not for the Bluetooth. They just taped it here with a piece of masking tape on the front. Not very cool at all. And then we have the little buttons on their own little separate PCB here. We have the battery right here. Looks like it's a single cell actually. I think it's supposed to be a 1200 milliamp. Yeah, then there isn't much circuitry in here actually. So, wow, yeah. This is a very basic PCB that this thing has. I believe, yes. Right here it has amplification IC on it. If you can see there maybe, I doubt you can actually. And then this will be its processor basically just with its crystal there. And all that, I can't remove it really because it's kind of glued in there it seems. Yeah, it's all kind of glued in there. And then it just has that little display on the front there that shows you everything. Wired. Oh, really not much in here. But it's to be expected. I mean it's a cheap speaker so won't have too much in it. It does have some nice big filter capacitors here on the back. A uh, thousand microfarite I believe it is. Yeah. 1000 microfarad, 16 volts mic uh, uh, capacitor for filtering on the amplification. Yeah, that's basically all that's in here. Nothing more to see. So, yeah, that was my um, quick look at the M stuff. MST3305 and I think it's actually a pretty good speaker for its price it's definitely not like a bargain like it's not you get what you pay for here for the most part it sounds pretty good it doesn't have very deep bass it's not like a JBL or such it's kind of comparable to a, a shock of the same price so yeah I believe it's not too bad and I do love this microphone jack the big one that it has on it so yeah that's basically it for this speaker I'll get back to putting this thing back together and you guys and please like this video if you liked it and remember also to subscribe if you want to see more content like this.